all right what's cracking y'all welcome back to the channel uh today is not about the money it's not about nothing but two things so today's video is about direct bookings i have two of them this weekend uh, i'm documenting the first one which is a moving job i'm headed to it right now uh, it starts at 8 30 in the morning it should only take about two maybe three hours tops um this is a returning customer and I'll tell you more as I uh, drive there. The second one is a direct booking for tomorrow and I'm picking up from Best Buy, um, not a dolly order. It's a direct booking through my website with a customer delivering a refrigerator. So my video is strictly about direct bookings and I told you guys I bought an expensive item for my business, which I already shared it. My phones, I have a inexpensive item that I purchased for my business and I'm about to use it today. So it's very cheap and I love it. It's gonna help my business grow and it's something I recommend you do as well. I learned this from another YouTube channel. All right, let's get at it. All right, y'all, so I'm about uh, 15 minutes out from the customer. Uh, like I said, this video is strictly about direct booking. So the only thing I wanna highlight is that I am achieving my goal. My goal when I started my website was to get direct bookings. Those are a lot better than working with gig apps. Um, I like working directly with customers because I set the price. It's not a gig app price. Uh, I choose what jobs I want to do. I'm very flexible on the dates and times and you make more money just straight up. So um, this is a moving job. I, I told you guys I normally don't do moving jobs, but I'm very picky about the ones I do. This is a very easy one. Uh, the only difficulty is there is one flight of stairs, but it's nothing like extremely heavy that has to go up. So it's basically a daughter moving out of parents' house. So it's not a lot of stuff. So anyways, I'm not going to show too much of it. Uh, I do want to maintain the customer's privacy, but uh, I will show you some of the items I'll be picking up, uh, kind of show you what we did, and then... Um, on this video will be tomorrow as well. Tomorrow I have another direct booking and I'll tell you more about that later. So uh, that's all I wanna highlight. And most importantly, the new product that I purchased is very cheap, but I recommend it. I learned it from another YouTube channel and I will show you uh, that uh, product that I purchased. Uh, it will be in use today. All right, y'all, I'm getting close to the customer house. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys, man, communication is key. So I've been in great communication with this customer. Uh, I talked to them the day before to make sure the job's still good. I talked to them uh, the morning of, like an hour before the job starts. I, I let them know, hey, you know, I'm about to gas up. We'll be on our way shortly. All that stuff. Like, that's important. The customer needs to hear that. Uh, especially when it's moving, it's very stressful. And uh, if you're not communicating, they don't know if you're on your way or if you're still going to show up, all that stuff. So just want to share that, man. All right. Got it set up. And uh, just want to show you guys real quick. So it's not a lot of places to put my new product, but this is the product I bought that's going to help my business. I'm going to tell you more about it, but uh, it's kind of a cul-de-sac. So uh can't really use the grass so i use my van and there it is so that will be on every moving job every delivery job i'll be tossing that in the grass so i actually made this myself scan the qr code and i have my website down there i do deliveries people driving by can scan it and book me and i also sell merchandise it's good to go all right let's get to work okay these items. All right, so got these right here. No. That's a TV, 55 mm -hmm. inch. Okay. That's it? Yeah, just this. Okay, not a lot of stuff. None of that? Just, no, no, no. Just, this? Okay. just everything in the boxes and then the laundry bin. All right, and then your uh, the big item is. Oh, it's the mattress. The mattress? I have one of these too, the back. Oh. Yes. <laughs> And then we have the mattress frame and the couch. And the frame? Okay, got it. All right. Oh, okay, that's the same. It said 80 pounds on the, on the what do you call it, order. Got the it. mattress is in a blue. All right, y'all. So you guys saw how much stuff it was. And uh, we got everything loaded up. So 
that's the only delicate item 55 inch tv this is it so this is what it looks like when daughter moves out of mom and dad's house so full size mattress with the frame this is actually a sofa it's about 80 pounds um but it's not put together it's in the box that's it look at all this so barely it didn't even fill up my van normally if i have a lot of stuff i'll stack up you know up to the roof but there was no need to and we still got this whole section available so all right man we're about to drive it's about 15 miles away we are going to the second floor though so um but like i said this stuff is this is easy and uh it's mom and daughter they're uh they're both helping so it's making it go really fast so it took about 20 25 minutes to load all this up all right man let's get it all right y'all like i said the drive is only about 15 miles so i'm actually following the customer right now and um we're just gonna it'll probably take about 30 minutes to unload the only issue we might have is the uh, bed frame her bed frame is put together uh, we might have to take it apart to fit through the door uh, you'll see when i get there but i was looking at pictures of it at the top of the stairs it's not a lot of space to turn so we'll see when we get there but other than that uh it's gonna be a pretty easy job So I'm just gonna back the van up this dirt road up here. Steps. And, and it's gonna be the upstairs apartment. Alright, let's see. Kind of tight. Appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, I'll I was wondering maybe we can go all the way here and it, it could make this turn hopefully. Alright. That's the little apartment. It's perfect for you. <laughs> right downtown too? Awesome. Alright, that's the route. All right, y'all, we are all done. Um, like I said, this video is not really about the money and all that stuff. I will let you know at the end of the video how much I made on these jobs. So that job, we got there right at 8.30. Uh, it took about 20, 30 minutes to load up. Uh, the, the drive was like 20 minutes, about 15 miles, and it took about 20, 30 minutes to unload. So uh, I only charged the customer, it took less than an hour and a half. So I'm only gonna charge an hour, well, I'm charging for two hours because the clock starts when I leave my house. So uh, two hours, I estimated three hours. Um, this is a returning customer. I always take care of my customers, so I'm not trying to overcharge or nothing like that. Uh, jobs like this, you don't have to charge the arm and a leg. Um, it's a very easy job. Uh, I did include stairs uh, in my charges, so, um, but other than that, I mean, the, you saw the stuff, it's very easy easy job so anyways i'll let you know how much i charge uh we got it done um so those signs that i use to promote my business i actually learned that i told you guys if you're serious about business and not on youtube just to troll and hate on everybody but you're actually really trying to learn um watch other businesses it doesn't have to be somebody in cargo van or box truck or in trucking it could be any type of business it could be a restaurant owner it could be a uh, a car detailer it could be anybody just watch other people that 
that show content on YouTube. Um, business works the same no matter what you're doing. So marketing is very important. And I learned that, that that idea of putting that sign, making that sign, which was very cheap, it's about $25. I made it myself. Uh, and I'll tell you more about it um, later. I have a, a video for that. But I learned that from a, a guy that does uh, a guy that does junk removal he has a junk removal business and he was I was watching his channel and he was talking about uh, how he built his business like how he started getting more customers and he was saying that something so simple spend $25 make a little sign and just while he's working doing a haul of uh, you know junk removal he puts that in the grass and he said he gets so many clients like that so something that easy that simple um so that gave me the idea and i did it and it works it works so anyways um i just wanted to share that that's it for this part of the content i'm headed home just that one job took less than two hours so i'll, I'll give you all the pay at the end of the video so tomorrow we're going to pick up and uh pick up from best buy and i'll tell you about that order how i got it it's a direct booking. It's not a dolly. So until then, catch y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Uh, it is the very next day. It is Sunday. Um, it's uh, about 10, 15. Um, I told you guys I have a direct booking from Best Buy, picking up for a customer, picking up a refrigerator. Um, that is the only job I had planned on doing. Uh, I only do like one or two jobs on the weekend. My plan was to just do that job and chill, watch some football with the kids, all that stuff. Um, my CEO, man, he just, he's good. That's all I got to say. He's good. So he blessed me with two more dollies. Um, one is a refrigerator. The other one is a pickup from the container store, which I've never done on a Sunday. Um, so I'm going to be over $200. So basically, I'm getting a two for one at the Best Buy. One of the customers is my direct booking with my company, and then the other one is a dolly order, um, and then the container store. So the order, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna load up both refrigerators. I'm gonna then drive to the container store, do that delivery, that's 12 mile route, and then uh, deliver my direct booking customer, and then the dolly. Uh, it works out perfect on the timing. Um, my customers at 11 o'clock, container stores at 11 o'clock, already told my customer about it and then the other customer is at 12 30 so it works out perfect all right man so i am wearing the white kicks today so i told you guys i got some shoes from tamu uh these are them the white kicks um these are very comfortable i don't care about uh name brand stuff when you're running a business it's about saving money so you can clown all you want i don't care i'm saving money these shoes are super comfortable i'm about to see if they uh you know if they're actually durable um these are technically not really working shoes i just like wearing shoes like this they're very comfortable um i don't plan on getting my shoes dirty today but i mean they're white so they're gonna get dirty but um it's all good they're really cheap they're comfortable the only thing i do recommend if you do purchase uh like shoes or clothes from tamu or websites like that uh, i always get at least a half size bigger so i wear a size 11 i recommend getting 11 and a half uh, they do have us sizes as well so that's my recommendation so we're gonna keep the video kind of short i know it's kind of long already with the moving job from yesterday so i'm just i'm not going to show a lot on the deliveries i'm just showing you what i'm doing and then i'll give you all the uh how much i made from yesterday and today let's get it let's go all right, y'all, we loaded up. Uh, we got two refrigerators. I'm predicting the last one's gonna be a problem. It's really wide. So I'm not taking the door off today. I, I text the customer, I told him, he gonna have to take the door off, all that stuff, got no response. So we loaded up two refrigerators. I met my customer there. Uh, I got some great news to share about her too. She wants to help my business. So anyways, uh, I'm going to the container store now. And, uh, it's about uh, nine miles. So I'm gonna try to pick this up as quick as possible and then uh, get to my uh, my direct booking customer, get her done, 
Uh, I, I need to be by her house before three, so I got plenty of time. It's only 11.30. So I'm thinking I'll be at her house by 12.30. And that's it. Three free scheduled jobs are gonna be over 200. Uh, my guy, Rosnell, that's his name. Rosnell is a straight up hustler out here. He put a lift gate on his pickup truck and he kills it with Dolly. He does orders, man, that other people don't want to do, but he makes a ton of money. Not a lazy bone in his body. He has his own helper. I see him all the time, almost every day. He is killing it out here. All right, so I'm gonna make this real quick. I don't have a lot of time, but this is the order. Just wanted to show you what I'm dropping off. So it's a bunch of shelving. Uh, it all fit, we got plenty of room. So I just put it through the side door and uh, we're driving 12 miles. So I'm in a hurry. Knock it out real quick. So I'll knock that job out real quick. Uh, the customer actually helped me, uh, the guy. Um, I didn't have to, cause there was no stairs on the order, but I just took it upstairs. It was no big deal. So we got it done in like five minutes. My wife pushed everything to the edge and me and him just took turns coming down, grabbing stuff. So uh, I'm on my way to my direct booking customer. ETA is about 28 minutes and uh, this customer gave me a uh, $20 tip. So again, uh, I probably wouldn't have got that tip if I didn't help him take that stuff upstairs. So sometimes doing a little extra work, you get paid for it. All right, let's roll. Let's keep it going. All right, y'all, I am pulling up to my direct booking customer. That's what this video is about, my two direct bookings. So I had a moving job yesterday and uh, I'm gonna do this job and then I'm gonna tell you um, how I got this job. That's important. So that's what this video is about. The other two jobs, two dollars I got today is just bonus. All right, man, let me knock this out. All right, y'all, we are all done. Uh, that job took about uh, about 15 minutes. Um, so uh, the, I had to use my uh, mama ramp. Uh, she had really high steps to go up. Uh, we just put the ramp on the side of the stairs and uh, the customer's husband and my wife pushed on the other side. So got that taken care of. And then uh, I put my signs out and uh, I'm telling you guys, it does work. Uh, it must've been at least 12 cars that were like slowing down and looking at the sign. And uh, this customer actually has a lot of people in the neighborhood that are always asking for help like that, getting stuff delivered. So uh, she, my, this customer was actually about to rent a U-Haul um, to do the delivery. So she's very glad that she ran into me. And uh, I'll tell you more about that once we finish. So the uh, second customer, is four miles from here uh i think this one's gonna be a problem uh, the, the refrigerator is really wide so i don't think it's gonna go through the door unless they have a french door and i doubt it so i'm not in the mood to be taking doors off i'm gonna follow dolly's uh policy uh, if it doesn't fit i'll be taking it back so it's totally up to the customer but we'll see uh this customer has not been responsive at all All right, y'all, so I'm at the customer's house. Uh, it's this house right here. Um, the door looks really thin. So, like I said, not not messing around today. I'm ready to go home, I'm hot, I'm tired. So, if we have any issues, I will be taking it back. Other than that, uh, we'll get it done. So, uh, I'll let you guys know if there's any issues. A few moments later. All right, so the customer wants us, we was gonna go through the garage, but I told him it's not big enough. So. Uh, we're gonna go through the front door. He's gonna take the door off and uh, this thing is really really wide so we need about 30 35 inches we took all the bubble wrap off and the door is like 35 inches <laughs> so um, I'm just documenting it just in case for damages uh, it might rub against the door he said it's cool so we do got to go through this narrow path right here make this turn and then I'll use my uh my ramp right here all right all 
All right, y'all, we are all done. Uh, took care of that guy, we got it delivered. Um, he ended up having to take off his front door. Um, he did have two steps to go up, but it wasn't hard. So I used my baby ramp just to go up the one step. And then uh, he and my wife pushed on the other side. So he was very uh, prepared. <laughs> he took, he actually had took the garage door off first. And then I told him like, nah, that's, that's not gonna fit. Use the front door. So he took the front door off. That's how it's supposed to be. The customer needs to be ready and prepared to you know, take their door off if they need to. So I had no issues with that. We cut all the bubble wrap off at his request, put it on the side. I carried it in from the side and we got it delivered. Just real quick, I don't wanna be long winded on this because I like to go in detail. I use my Rumble page for that. So anything about my direct bookings will be on my Rumble page, like in details. So the job yesterday, my moving job, you guys saw it only took two hours. It was not a lot of stuff. Uh, I made $225. Uh, I only drove 15 miles from the drop uh, pickup to the drop off. Uh, that was a returning customer. And uh, like I said, my motto is to make a customer and keep the customer. She called me because for one, she knew of me and I did a good job. And every time you do a good job, you take care of the customers, they're gonna come back, guaranteed. So um, this customer, the other direct booking, uh, the refrigerator, um, that I was doing a dolly order uh, two days ago. And that customer walked up to me while I was loading, I was getting ready to leave. And she asked me, do you do deliveries? On, like on your own, for your, yourself? I said, yes. Uh, she asked for my card. I gave her my card and she said, uh, for some reason, I, I can't get the delivery through Best Buy or whatever. I, I don't know what the issue was. She thinks because she because the type of refrigerator it was, they didn't have a delivery service for her. I, I don't know. I never heard that before. But anyways, that's what she told me. Uh, she was on the verge of renting a U-Haul. Well, actually, her neighbor has a pickup truck and she was gonna ask him if he could pick it up for her. But she didn't wanna do that because as you guys know, you're not supposed to lay the refrigerator down. So you could load it, but when you uh, unload it, you have to lay it down flat to get it off. Uh, she didn't wanna do that. So the second option was she was going to uh, rent a U-Haul. Um, I think she said it cost $67. That was the charge. She didn't really want to do that either. Just the hassle of going to pick it up, do the delivery, yeah, and then, you know, take it back, all that stuff. Um, she didn't want to do that. And then they doing it herself. It, she's older, uh, her and her husband. So she was, she said this herself, like, like this is God at work, you know? I'm so glad God, uh, you know, had you there when I was there because uh, when she, they bought the refrigerator online, Best Buy was not, was not doing the delivery for her, like not through Dolly or anything. So she like had to pick it up herself. I think it was it was a different type of refrigerator. It wasn't like a regular one that I've done. It was nothing special about it, but it was just a different one. She got like a really good deal. So I guess that refrigerator just didn't come with delivery service, not even through Dolly. So she was like, when she walked out the store, if I wasn't there, she didn't know what she was gonna do. So other than, I guess, go get the U-Haul and her and her husband were gonna try to deliver it themselves. So it just worked out perfect. Uh, long story short, that's how I met her. And so I gave her my business card. I booked her myself uh, through my website. It gives her a confirmation number. Everything looks very professional. And, you know, I did great communication with her. Of course, today I had more orders than I had planned. Uh, so I let her know that, hey, I got to squeeze these other customers in. She was good with that. And it just worked out perfect. So uh, that's it, man. I'll, I'll tell you more about uh, direct bookings and all that stuff on my Rumble page. I will go into detail on my Houston job. You should see a video dropping soon. If it's not already out, uh, it'll be on my Rumble page. So today I made over $200. I don't remember the exact amount, but I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, one of the customers did give me a tip, the container store. So this is all the jobs I did today. And this is the pay, including the tip. Uh, so for the entire weekend, 
this is how much I made. And that's just the moving job, which took two hours. And then the jobs I did today, probably about three hours of my time. So heading into the week with a great start. All right, man, that's it. Video long enough. Y'all have a good one and I'll catch y'all on the next one.